I'm going to create another Visio drawing, but this time I'm going to choose the detailed network diagram and I'll choose a blank option. And this time I'm going to create a network including servers and some other devices. We always have to still start with our main network switch, which is where everything's going to be plugged into. And now I want to add in some servers. So I'm going to add in multiple different servers that do various different things. We're still going to need our firewall and eventually a cloud that gets us out to the internet. So that way we know how things are going. We might also see a virtual server as well. It looks just like a regular server, but you can go ahead and type in virtual server. You could say it's a Hyper-V host or whatever it is. And this could be our DHCP server. This could be a DNS. And this could be Active Directory. And of course, we're going to need another server for file and print because there's a lot of different file and print servers that are typically on any network. So I'll go ahead and add that last server for file and print. Now I'm going to also need some computers in here. So this is going to include the PCs, say for the network. I'm going to add a group of three PCs and then just go ahead and give them a subnet. So I'll say PCs. 192.168.200. And we'll say dot 20 through dot 150. So that way we know our DHCP server is going to be handing out IP addresses in that range and not to give any of our other devices a static IP within that range. You don't have to have an icon for each one of those PCs. Just go ahead and show the range of IPs. You could do the same for tablets. You could include them in there or just put them in separately. And you can also add in laptops. Of course, we're going to want to add in our cloud. So I'll just do a search for cloud. And there's lots of different clouds here. This is going to be my internet cloud. So I'll go ahead and type in internet. We may also want to designate site-to-site -site tunnels. So we could say that this is a tunnel to Seattle, or we might have another cloud that is going to be linked to Azure. And you might have many more and other types of devices. I'm going to link these together just as I did in the previous video. And I'm also going to add in IP addresses for each of these devices. And now I've linked all these together and added in the IP address ranges as well. But we can take it a step further. Let's say we don't like this color scheme. We can go up to design and we can change to a different color scheme that works for us. All I have to do is scroll through the different ones until you find what you like. Let's go with this high contrast one that we see here. I'd also like to add in a background and it shows backgrounds that go along with the color scheme, but you can choose your own background as well. So I'll choose this one that you see here that really adds a nice look to it. Now I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to choose a text box. And I'll call this ABC Company Network and I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of that, make it bold give it a cool color and there you go and here's an example of a detailed network drawing